As we progress further into the higher planes of reality, the zodiacal archetypes as we know them are also changing and shifting. The information in this video touches on what is known in the Guardian Host model as the Galactic Zodiac. It is the higher expression of the zodiac archetypes as they exist within the celestial realms. I feel an extreme personal responsibility as both an astrologer in this new developing age and a soul holding guardian level stewardship to start incorporating these archetypes into my own interpretations. It's no coincidence that at this time new modalities such as galactic astrology are being explored, opening up new potentials for astrological interpretation. I feel it is a way of opening the door to these higher, more integrated sign interpretations. At some point along the way, it's paramount that we begin incorporating the higher expression of these archetypes into our practice. We will continue to live out our birth astrological imprints until the time comes for us to integrate and transcend them. It's important to understand that the zodiacal archetypes have been altered to function in a certain way within the lower worlds. But it is up to us to make the choice of whether or not we want to continue giving life to these old world expressions of being. This particular version of the zodiac is based around the amount of time the sun spends within a particular constellation. It's not based upon equinox procession. These signs inform of the alchemical principles which are activated through the sun's stay in each constellation. The new dates presented are related to the time spent in each constellation. Reincorporating the stars back into astrology is essential to return it to its original intent. These archetypes are all meant to be experienced and integrated. The galactic zodiac introduces a 13th sign into the mix, which many may know as Ophiuchus. This represents the unification process itself. Each sign of the galactic zodiac represents a different facet of spiritual initiation and integration in order to achieve a state of Christic perfection. Now as a disclaimer, this video contains information which would eradicate deeply held belief systems of those who heavily identify with mainstream astrological interpretation. Before you interact with this, please ensure that this is something you genuinely align with and something you wish to expand your knowledge on. And as a further disclaimer, this is intended to serve as an introduction to the concept of astrological interpretation within the higher God worlds. It's not a way to superimpose or convert anyone to a particular belief system. As always, please take what resonates and leave the rest. Without further ado, here is your introduction to the signs and energies of the Galactic Zodiac. Aries, April 19th to May 13th. Its themes are purification and calcination. Its element is fire. Taurus, May 14th to June 19th. Its themes are congelation and transformation. Its element is earth. Gemini, June 20th to July 20th. Its themes are fixation and synthesis. Its element is air. Cancer, July 21st to August 9th. Its themes are dissolution and dismantling. Its element is water. Leo, August 10th to September 15th. Its themes are digestion and conversion. Its element is fire. Virgo, September 16th to October 30th. 
Its themes are distillation and purity. Its element is earth. Libra, October 31st to November 22nd. Its themes are sublimation and transmutation. Its element is air. Scorpio, November 23rd to November 29th. Its themes are separation and stillness. Its element is water. Ophiuchus, November 30th to December 17th. Its themes are unification and wound healing. Its elements are water and ether. Sagittarius, December 18th to January 18th. Its themes are incineration and resurrection. Its element is fire. Capricorn, January 19th to February 15th. Its themes are fermentation and illumination. Its element is earth. Aquarius, February 16th to March 11th. Its themes are multiplication and virtues. Its element is air. Pisces, March 12th to April 18th. Its themes are ascension, perfection, and Christos Sophia. Its elements are water and ether.